And thank you for choosing a hot spring spa with a fresh water salt system. Following these steps at startup will ensure the long-term success of your fresh water salt system. This process may take a few days, but feel free to use your hot tub during this time. Here are the steps we'll cover. Testing your filled water, filling your spa, balancing your water, adding salt, sanitizing your filled water, softening your water, and 24 hours later, setting the salt output level. Before getting started, you'll want to ensure that your filled water is free of metals, phosphates, and high calcium. Consult your dealer on how to bring these levels within the recommended ranges. If needed, steps required to address these fill water conditions must be completed 24 hours prior to beginning the startup process. At this point, the power to your hot tub should be off either by turning it off at the circuit breakers in the sub-panel or by unplugging it from the outlet if it's a 110 volt model. You can check your owner's manual for more information about this. If you have not already inserted the salt system cartridge, you may do this now. Remove the cap with a twist, then lift it off. Remove the plug that's inside by pressing the button on the top and lifting it straight up. Insert the new cartridge while pressing the button on the handle. Release the button to lock it, then check that it's securely in place. Finally, replace the cap with a twist. Now it's time to add water. To prevent air bubbles from getting trapped in your hot tub's plumbing, you'll want to fill your hot tub through the standpipe. Just remove the filter and place the hose down into the standpipe, the one with the gray cap. Fill the hot tub until the water level is one inch above the highest jet. Now you're ready to power on your hot tub. For this step, please consult your hot tub's owner's manual as the directions vary based on the voltage of your hot tub. If your spa is equipped with a diagnostic logo light, it may now be blinking. The water care icon on the control panel may also be blinking. This is normal and indicates that salt has not been added and the water is not yet hot. Once your hot tub is powered on, test out the jets by pushing the jets icon on the home screen. Once you've confirmed the jets are fully operational, you can turn them off. Next, set the temperature to your desired level, at least 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And lastly, ensure the salt system output level is set to zero. The system is off. We'll come back later to adjust this level once the fill water has been properly sanitized. Next, we're going to balance the water. Using the five-way test strips that came with your salt system, check the water for proper pH, alkalinity, and calcium levels. Adjust the pH and alkalinity as needed to balance the water. We'll address calcium hardness later in this video. Please refer to your hot tub's owner's manual for detailed instructions on how to balance the water. Once you've balanced your water, you're ready to add salt. Check your hot tub's owner's manual for the gallon capacity. Then, refer to the salt bag to determine how much salt you need. In order to avoid over-salting the water, start off by adding half the recommended amount using the scoop from the kit. Pour the salt directly into the filter compartment one cup at a time with the jets running. Allow five minutes for the salt to dissolve. Pairing the freshwater salt system with a silver cartridge is a great way to enhance your overall water quality. If you're using silver, you can insert it into the filter compartment now. Next, use the fresh water salt test strips that came in your startup kit to measure the salt level. If there is less than 1,750 parts per million, or ppm, repeat the same process, adding one cup of salt at a time until you reach 1750 ppm. Be careful not to exceed the recommended amount of salt. 
One of the most important steps during the initial startup is to get an instant chlorine reading of 5 ppm. With all of the jets on and diverter valves in their middle positions, add chlorine to the filter compartment. Please refer to the product label for instructions. After chlorine has been circulating through the jets for five minutes, measure the chlorine level with a new freshwater five-way test strip. Your chlorine target reading is 5 ppm. If it's less than 5 ppm, repeat the chlorination process by following the instructions on the chlorine product label. Wait five minutes and test again. Hard water can damage your hot tub equipment and may hinder the effectiveness and shorten the life of your salt cartridge. The desired calcium level is 50 ppm. If it is above 75 ppm, you'll need to use the Vanishing Act pillow that is included in your freshwater salt system startup kit. The Vanishing Act pillow softens water by lowering the calcium level. Depending on your water's calcium hardness, you may need to use additional Vanishing Act pillows or a Vanishing Act XL pillow. For instructions on how to use the Vanishing Act pillow, please refer to your hot tub's owner's manual. After 24 hours, check the calcium level again. If the level is still above 75 ppm, repeat the previous step until you reach the 50 ppm target. It's now time to activate the salt system by navigating to the water care menu on your control panel and adjusting the salt system output to the recommended level indicated in your freshwater salt system owner's manual based on your spa's gallon capacity. Your freshwater salt system will now start generating chlorine on its own. Check the water to ensure a residual chlorine level of at least 3 ppm has been maintained over the past 24 hours. If the chlorine level has dropped below 3 ppm, repeat the chlorination process to achieve 5 ppm and press the boost button. Check the chlorine level again in 24 hours and continue to repeat the chlorination and boost process until the filled water is clean and maintaining a residual chlorine level of 3 ppm. It may take a few to several days for the salt system to independently maintain the residual chlorine levels depending on your fill water quality and your initial hot tub usage, but is important for long-lasting clean water with the fresh water salt system. Over the next few days, as you begin to get into a regular hot tub routine, continue to test your water regularly using the five-way test strips and adjust the salt system output level as needed to maintain clean and clear water. When maintained properly, the salt system should help your water stay clean and fresh for up to a full year. We hope you enjoy using your new hot spring spa with a fresh water salt system.